Hey guys, welcome back to the Home Lab series. It's been a while, but uh, we are back and we shall continue. In this video, what we want to do is, is install Caddy Linux. Caddy Linux is going to be our main hacking OS, and so that's what we're going to do first. So I am here at Caddy.org, get Caddy. We're going to download the virtual machine, an OVA file for VirtualBox. And if you click here, you will download the file. It's four gigabytes. It's a pretty large file. I already have it downloaded and so I will just jump into VirtualBox straight away and what I want to do is go to ins to machine or file go to file import appliance and then wherever you have your OVA downloaded is where you want to go so I have my OVA here in my home lab and I have all my ISOs and OVAs kept in here for the home lab just to keep things in order so this is the OVA double click on it click on next and then what we want to do is rename this thing to Kelly home lab then give it a bit more RAM so that installation and all that doesn't take too much time and you can change the base folder which I will probably do and once you've changed the base folder you click on import and it might take a while so I'll be back when that is done Okay, so my Kali Linux is done importing. So what we want to do now is start up the virtual machine. Okay, the default password will be Kali, and the default username is Kali as well. Enter that, and you should be able to log in. It's taken a while. I have no idea why. But uh, here we go. We have our Kali Linux installation running and I do not want it full screen okay we have our Kali Linux running here and if we open up a terminal and I have config we have one network adapter which is called eth0 our Kali Linux is currently on currently on a NAT, right? NAT network adapter so that's why there's one and I had configured my NAT settings where are my preferences? Preferences, network, to be on this side range. That is why you see this IP address, right? So when I did a couple of testing and configurations, I then noticed that our interfaces might not work properly together. Um, we have our host one network, our host one network adapter, then the NAT, which is what we currently have, the NAT. And then we have a host two. Host two was supposed to be our management interface for security onion and our analyst VM. And then host one was going to be where we have the interface for the vulnerable machine, Kelly Linux hacking the vulnerable machine and security onion logging the traffic. But one thing I hadn't noted is the fact that security onion kind of needs internet access. So this host only two, this management interface, is going to change to NAT network. So I'm also going to change my Kali Linux to go on the NAT network. Doesn't really matter for the Kali Linux, but if we run this command again a couple of times, it's still the same side range, so the IP address doesn't change. But I will draw up a new network diagram to make sense of what I'm trying to say. So the host only two adapter is going to change to the net network and then our sniffing interface is going to change to the host only two so that the interfaces don't collide and we can actually do what we need to do. But I do not like the way Kali Linux looks like the default installation. As you can see, mine looks a tad different already because I've done this a while ago. So what you want to do is update Kali Linux. And then once you update it, let's open up a browser. This is taking a long time. It's so slow. Okay, that's updated. But where's the browser at though? There we go. What you want to do is go to Kali Clean. This is a script that was written by one of the offsec student mentors. He goes by Siddiqui. I hope that's how you pronounce his name. 
So what you want to do is git clone this repo. CD into your downloads. And then git clone to repository. Right, I already have it. So once you go in there, you want to run his installation script. But before you run his installation script, you want to install sudo apt install i3, which is a desktop environment that we're going to be using. Right. So once you have i3 installed, run the installation script and you should be good to go to have your Linux looking something like what I'm about to show you. So once you want it to look like that, log out and then click on this hamburger menu right here. Click i3 and then log in again. It looks like nothing happened, but you are logged in and this is what your Kali Linux is going to be looking like now. i3 is a bit difficult to get used to, to be honest. But once you get used to it, it works very well. So to open up a terminal, you hold down your Windows key and press enter. And it's taken a while. I have no idea why, but this is what your terminal is going to be looking like, which is very neat. It's very nice. It's very neat. I don't like this one though. And it looks weird for some reason. So I shall change um, dot. I should change the theme from Robbie Russell to Agnosta. Save that out and then source. And now my theme has changed, but it still looks weird. I might need to run this installation script again. See into Kali clean. And I will just run this installation script again just so that it looks proper because the font is kind of weird. But since now we have Kali Linux installed, we need to move on to the next step, which would be installing Security Onion. So I'll catch you in the next one.